How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you how to get the free legendary birds in Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC The Crown Tundra. So let's begin. So our first clue basically tells us to head to the Dynatree Hill. It kind of looks like an ice cream or a muffin. It's located at the bottom of the Crown Tundra map. So go there and you see the three legendary birds appear. There's Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. So the three legendary birds will fly off into different directions and then we're going to have to find them. So lucky for us, our clue gets updated. We're going to go after Articuno first, which set off across the Crown Tundra. So we're going to head to the snow slide slope, just outside the tunnel to the top. We're going to pick up this snowball and then we're going to turn around. And there is a patch of grass on the right. We're going to ride through there and there's a tiny gap that lets us through. We're going to make a game save here before we approach Articuno, just in case we don't catch it the first time. So Articuno now will bring up duplicates of itself. We've got to keep an eye out for the one that waves its wing. If we choose the wrong one, it'll fly off into the distance. So that's when we reload our save and start try again. And if you pick the right one, Articuno will attack. So these are the tactics that I use to catch Articuno. Because each round we're going to get buffeted by hail because of the weather conditions, I used a move to change the weather conditions, which was Rain Dance. You can use other moves. If you'd like to recommend some, put it in the comments below to share with everyone. So once we've changed the weather, we won't get buffeted by hail and Articuno won't faint, or we, our Pokemon won't faint. And then I tried using Sleep Powder, which was a bit too early. I could have used it later on, I think. But eventually I used Bolt Hound and used Nuzzle, which paralyzed Articuno and took down his health. And then I threw an Ultra Ball. Actually, I threw more than one Ultra Ball. This is probably the seventh Ultra Ball. And eventually I caught my Articuno. Galarian form Articuno, the feather-like blades are composed of psychic energy and can shear through thick iron sheets as if they were paper. So next up we have Zapdos. Zapdos can be found in the wild area. I found Zapdos in Westlake Axwell, so once you approach this area, make a game save before approaching Zapdos. Because he's got these new ostrich-like legs which give him super speed. So my only tip here is as he goes around corners, you can try and cut him off with your boosts. So like here he's going around these trees so I try to cut him off with this boost around here and then eventually we make up the distance and we get close enough but we can't stop wild Pokemon like Mudstale appearing and blocking our path. But eventually you will catch up to Zapdos and you'll get your chance to catch him. So here I just use Bolt Hound and Nuzzle to paralyze him and take down his health. I actually got it down to a tiny bit and then I threw an Ultra Ball. This is actually probably my third Ultra Ball that I used to catch Zapdos. Zapdos, when its feathers rub together, it produces a crackling sound like zapping of electricity and that's why it's called Zapdos. Finally, we have Moltres. So Moltres is located on the Isle of Armour. If you fly to the dojo and then take a right into the Subin wetlands, and make a game save here before approaching Moltres in the distance because he'll just start flying off. He seems to have a set path where he just goes around the island to island like he's guarding it. So what we need to do is cut him off. So I've ended up in the Insula Sea and once you approach Moltres, press the left analog stick down to whistle and he'll come down and attack. So my tactics for catching Moltres was the same as getting Zapdos. I was trying to paralyze him with Nuzzle. And then I used different Pokemon to take down his health and then finally I brought back Bolt Hund to take it. its health down to the final bit and throw Ultra Ball. Ding! Moltres was caught! Moltres! This Pokemon's sinister flame-like aura will consume the spirit of any creature it hits. Victims become burned out shadows of themselves. Wow, that is dark. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more of my other videos to help support my channel. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'm Simon from LOG Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.